So I'm trying to build this fucking little statue, but uh, it's a rogue. So it's uh, it's it's a good time to talk about something rogue related, like how I can't fit a damn dome into this body. <laughs> yeah, man, what the fuck is this? <laughs> anyway, what came out recently was the Dark Phoenix trailer. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen trailers in like a month. To be honest with you. Yeah, that I haven't weird. even seen the Captain Marvel trailer. It's not great. Nothing. For a month, I kind of been like, what's going on with my life in general? Yeah. Same but anyway. Here, honestly. Let's not well, talk about that. Though. The point is, you've seen yeah. the trailer. What did you think of it? Uh, Dark Phoenix, it looked interesting. I don't know what's going on, because I didn't see Apocalypse. Um, but it, it looked like it's going to be like depressing and shit. So that's good. Yeah, I'm all for a depressing-ass yeah. fucking hero movie. Yeah. I'm dead serious about that, too. No, oh, yeah, me too. That's why I'm like, that's good. But, uh... There's my little rogue that I just fucking, yeah. quote, built. Now... I'm a rogue fan, in case you haven't figured yeah, it out. Yeah, it's, it's pretty weird. I'm not gonna lie. Why? Why is that weird? <laughs> I don't know. I love Rogue, man. I love Rogue so much that when they mixed her character with Jubilee's character in X Men, I was like, hell yeah, this is cool. Not not so much because of what that meant for the character, but because I knew it was just gonna mean screen time for Rogue. Now she wouldn't even be nowhere close yeah. to the Rogue that I love. But I was just happy. I'm that big a rogue fan. The rogue love is pretty disturbing. It's a it's, it's a thing that's it's happened for years. It's almost as disturbing why. as the inconsistencies with the release dates that they have shown for the freaking Dark Phoenix. Because at the end of that trailer, at least the one I saw, they might have fixed it at this point. Uh, the one I saw, it said February 14th. Yeah. And uh, apparently it came out the other day that it's actually been delayed again to July. And Alita Battle Angel has been moved to February 14th. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck Fox is thinking. I know they've undergone this buyout from Disney. And I suspect some of that has something to do with it. But I don't know how much of that. Because it's been going on for a while. Yeah. They pushed back uh, New Mutants a year. Now it's, it's I don't not even, even think, on the yeah, fucking schedule anymore. I don't think that has a release date. Gambit has been pushed around back and forth. But Gambit's a different story. That's just... That's just weird. The Gambit thing is just weird. That really yeah. doesn't have to do anything with anything. But uh, Dark Phoenix was technically a finished movie, part one of two. Then it got reshot and shuffled. Now we get this trailer that says, look, it's coming out February. But then, like you said, not long after that, oh, uh, never mind. It's coming out, what, July? July? I think it was July 30th or something like that. Now, you could take that as a bad sign or a good sign. I see it more as a good sign. I yeah. think there's some sort of intent behind this. Reportedly, I think, it was, I can take this one with a grain of salt, it was to do more reshoots. Um, so, my theory is maybe they are changing the movie to make it just a one-parter, maybe. Or, I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to, to, to improve it. You never know. Yeah, I think uh, the fact that uh, there's going to be a major shift, whether they like it or not, yeah. I think that has a lot to play into it. Uh, I know there's a recent rumor that Marvel flooded the X-Men properties with more money to do more things, which Fox gave them decent budgets, but yeah. didn't give them glorious budgets. So now they're getting more money. So I think there's definitely some sort of plan there that has more to do with this Marvel buyout than anything that being said, you don't just fucking keep changing dates yeah, on people. Yeah, it's just confusing. You know what? Most people are not huge fans of, of movies. They're not mega geeks. They're not on the date 24-7. And those that are see this as a red flag. Yeah. So who the fuck are you winning with, Fox? Especially, Nobody. You're confusing the general audience and pissing off the fans. Especially in this freaking modern age where every single little... Every, every asshole with a computer that has the power to make a Facebook page thinks himself a journalist and like they have all the freaking, all the info in the world and will just freaking release shit bashing your shit if you're not Marvel. Now you could argue you that's us, but but we're not no. bashing everything yeah, every single turn. We're saying it might be for this, it might be for that. There's people out there that are like, it's going to be shit because yeah. there's, re, there's reshoots and reshoots are always bad. Freaking breaking news, assholes. Most times reshoots aren't bad. Most, there is times where there is. This is supposed to show the ignorance of the general audience and or even the fans that now, like you said, are armchair critics. 
uh, reshoots are a standard. Yes. Of They've the been industry. going on forever. Uh, especially for the bigger the for movie. For the big one, yeah. The more chances of there being reshoots doesn't mean anything. Nothing means anything until you see that final yeah. product. You never know. Like, now, Gareth Edwards had uh, amazing amounts of trouble with Rogue One. I don't know how happy he is or is not with the final product. And I know it was a divisive movie. But me, personally, I loved that movie. You were kind of like, eh, lukewarm on it. You know? Yeah. But it just goes to show you, it doesn't mean anything yeah. until response is there, actually there in front of your there face. Is, there is times where it's where it can be bad for a movie like Justice League, but that's not that's not always. It doesn't always happen that way. So the fact that even if it is getting more reshoots, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Yeah. And again, I think there's an intent here, but it's still foolish to be shuffling yes, these dates that, around. That, that is undeniably foolish. I tell you what's been done. They've killed Alito Battle Angel. Yeah. They Whatever did. chance it had, however narrow it had, because it's a manga movie. It, it's based on a manga and an yeah. anime. There's already a lot of weebs that are just going to yeah. hate it on principle. The, the weeb fucking section of fandom. Yeah. Like you said, just on principle. Oh, it's Americanized. Yeah. We're, we're going to hate a, it. It has white people in it. I'm going to get bothered about it. Yeah. It's, it's an American adaptation, up. you dick. I still can't believe, as you well know, as you've heard a million times me say, can't believe the backlash Ghost in the Shell got. Because it's the fucking same movie, yeah, basically. And it, and it was part of the freaking uh, drive of the plot, you fools. Yes, whatever changes there were was part of the thematics. Scarlett Johansson play, uh, being white kind of played into the themes. Anyway, all that shit I, it pissed me off. Now, I get it with movies like Death Note, mm -hmm. which they fucking ruined. I get yeah. it, man. That sucked. There's good adaptations, there's bad adaptations. Just be fair. The thing is, Alita Battle Angel has a very small niche audience. And already it's a movie being Americanized. So already they've killed half of that audience yeah. that had support for it. Now you're shuffling it the fuck around. People don't understand why the character looks that way. That's another par par portion of the of the audience you've alienated. Why does she have big eyes? Why? <sighs> Just chill and watch the fucking movie! Mm. But now you've killed it because you've shuffled this thing from a prime spot right around December to February 14th. Which nowadays is a good spot. That's like when Black Panther got released, etc. You know, it's now not it's not a death spot anymore, February. But it's still, a, that's, that's a dramatic drop yeah. down from a holiday season to February. So you killed that movie. Now people are doubting Dark Phoenix, even though July is a prime fucking spot. Yeah. That's re that's really what doesn't scare me about that move, is that they're putting a lot of confidence in putting it in July, so either it's great or it's such a disaster they're just they're gonna bank on the name as much as they can. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know, man. I haven't seen the trailer. I hear good things about it. It looked alright. Although people yeah. make a big fucking deal about storm in the rain with a fucking oh yeah umbrella. It looked alright. Like honest, like you know, I'm not a big X Men guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I did, you know, I like Logan. I like some of the movies. I just, I'm not a big X Men guy, and I haven't seen Apocalypse, so I didn't really know some of the shit that was going on. Mm -hmm. But it looked, it looked interesting. So I don't know. It might be cool. To to uh, paraphrase the reaction to Apocalypse, uh, like in Brooklyn Nine Nine, that was a movie, right? Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> I'd watch it again. <laughs> it's one of those movies, you know. It's not bad, yeah. but you know. But, I'm uh, also the guy that didn't love freaking uh, Days of Future Past, so we still have to see the Rogue Cup. Yeah, that's way. true. The so Rouge Cup. It. it has Rogue in it, so yeah, you know I'm gonna like it, even if it sucks donkeys. <laughs> but anyway, the point is this shuffling business got to go, bro. Yeah. yeah. Another thing in comic book related news is this fucking Joker thing, which is you know they released the set photos of first it was a uh, 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 what was it a. Uh, Screen test, right? Camera yeah, test. The first thing they released was the uh, picture of of uh, Joaquin Phoenix just in regular streets um, with the reveal of the name for the Joker being Arthur Fleck. Uh, then the next thing they released a couple days later, I think in, uh, in a preemptive move to combat the eventual leaks that did happen, were was that makeup test which i thought was great uh we might roll it now if we can we might not i should laugh but i cry because your love 
has passed me by You took me by surprise I didn't realize That you were laughing Yeah, I, I wasn't uh, sold, per se. I wasn't adverse to it. I, you know, I wasn't against it. I wasn't sold on that because it's... Yeah, like you said, it was kind of to to beat somebody to the punch. So it didn't really tell me anything about the artistry of it or how it was going to look in the final product or anything. Uh, I thought it was a neat marketing move for damn sure. But I was waiting for something more concrete. And then the, 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 the things that came out next were uh, actual scenes being shot and actual photography from those scenes. And that's what sold me on the look. I was like, this is fucking awesome yeah, looking. Yeah, I will say this. In that makeup test, I thought it looked cool. And the way it was shot and the music was really cool. I was still iffy about the eyebrows in that makeup test because it looked weird. I did love how um, just in, in the way he did the look and smiled, you could kind of tell what's going on. Uh, I saw someone post a meme on Facebook that was uh, that said it's pretty cool when in 30 seconds he has more expressions than anything in the freaking captain marvel trailer and if you look at that captain marvel trailer she's freaking stone facing the entire time dude no emotion it's just a trailer but it, it's true uh but yes those those leaks did come out after shortly after that and from what i hear top phillips is not happy about that um but he's not happy about what specific about the leaks Oh, but uh, I, th that's why I think that's why he did that the the review the reveals and he has been posting a couple more pictures. So yeah, the, I don't know what you think about the look. I think it's great. Yeah, I thought the look was fantastic, man. And uh, you know, I got it. I won an argument. I was just stupefied by this idiot's comments, uh, where where some guy was like, "I already know I'm gonna hate it. The Joker has no origin. He that's the joke." the fuck up you dumb shit clearly the only thing you've ever fucking seen is the dark knight and you're yeah. basing all your knowledge of the joker on that one fucking thing if you've read batman if you've read joker stories you know that origins are a dime a dozen for the fucking dude yeah you know what i'm saying on, on endgame alone they place that they uh they put freaking like four or five different origins in one story arc yeah that are possible the, if anything you could say that the plethora of orange origins is the fucking joke, yeah. really. And the plethora of oranges. Yeah, <laughs> he really likes calcium. <laughs> he really does. It's he likes that, that wall muscle. That wall muscle. Look, I'm gonna say wall muscle is the bee's knee. Um, but anyway, man, yeah, I'm pretty excited yeah. about that. What, what I found the most interesting about the leaks <clears throat> is that in one of that one of the pictures, you can see, you can see hints of what might happen in the movie, and it seems like. They are gonna portray, at least from these leaks, the Thomas the Waynes in the movie as villainous, or at the very least corrupt. And he, yeah, it's it's interesting what that might mean for the future. I also think that this movie is freaking important. It's important for this movie to at least do well because this is a new new thing that DC is is doing in conservative budgets and adjusting their freaking expectations. They're not going to compete against Marvel. And this movie is kind of a mid-budget 50 million superhero movie. That's not something you see I think ever. I think they figured out that it's not Marvel they're competing against. It's it's the ludicrous fandom that they're competing yeah, yeah. against. They're, they're rabidly anti-DC and pro Marvel, no matter what, it's now just a matter of, you know, for them, it's a matter of principle. Yeah. I don't want Marvel to uh, to fail. I don't want DC to fail. And it's it's like there's no middle ground. There's there's so few people that are like, hey, we're getting movies from both. This is awesome. Yeah. What the fuck, man. You should be happy as you're getting movies from both. But anyway, I think they've just figured that out. That you know, fuck this. We have our audience. Why are we wasting money on trying to win over people that are going to be dick bags? Let's just shoot for our audience. Yeah. And then I think if they stay that way, conservative in their budgets, and, and, and just aim for what they, they know, uh, that they'll be okay, hopefully. Because I love DC. As, you know, I like Marvel. I don't hate Marvel. I just... I just, just fuck, can we I, just enjoy these movies, please? 22 movies into Marvel. 
I, at least I'm kind of freaking starving for a viable alternative to the standard. Um, not that I dislike Marvel. I thoroughly enjoy Marvel shit. But they are very samey at this point. Not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's good to have alternatives that are different. Yeah. And that's what DC was until people killed it. And then they tried to just be an Avengers movie. And it didn't work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this seems to be a, a step in the right direction. Also, the stuff they're doing on the on their streaming service with Swamp Thing that got announced that it was going to be a hard R, gritty, practical effects apparently uh, show that based off uh, I forgot what the storylines were uh, by James Wan, which is going to be I think is going to be great. And of course, their gritty Titans reboot, which I look. I gotta shit on the fans because the people who claim to be freaking, you know, who, who are DC fans or whatever are shitting on Titans without even seeing it yet. Just because, just because they changed the looks of, of a couple of the characters. Like Starfire doesn't look like she does in the comic and Beast Boy doesn't look like she does. Guess what, dickbags? It's a freaking show. They have a limited budget. They have to make these suits freaking be able to put on, on and off. And it's not going to look like it does on the pictures that a freaking asshole takes off the, the side of the road. It's going to look differently in the show. It's like when uh, X-Men first came out and people were bitching about them having the standard team uniform, black leather, instead of their comic book faithful yeah. uh, suits. You realize how stupid those suits would look on screen? Now, I get it. The, the whole team... Oh, let's not forget that they're a team, so it makes sense. The team all looking the same... It's kind of a little bit lame, you know, but uh, whatever, man. It's better than these bright colors jumping all around the screen yeah. like idiotic garbage. And, and it's, it's the thing like people are are, com are posting comparisons and shitting on them like, oh, look, this cosplayer did it better. Well, this cosplayer doesn't have to shoot for several hours at freaking, uh, you know, in a row in different conditions in which the suit probably wouldn't work. They, they don't have to freaking worry about lighting and, and shooting something properly. If you knew anything about shooting something, you wouldn't be saying this shit. Also, you haven't seen the show, you dickbag. Also, you're not helping DC raise from all the hate by just shitting on something without even seeing it. You supposedly care about all this shit that they get, uh, and yet you, you're doing the exact same thing just because you don't get something, you don't get something that you like. You suck. Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, entitled fandom is. is yeah, is and I gotta, garbage. I gotta say, freaking Angry Joe jumped on that bad wing, and I freaking hate Angry Joe. Not just because of that, just because I've been listening to him more, and he's, he's an idiot. Yeah, the bandwagon jumping is easy because yes. nobody wants to sound like the guy that is saying different yeah. because that means you're a moron, you know, in the public consciousness. So fuck that shit. Fuck that shit, man. You know, there's an audience for everything. Uh, no matter how much you fucking rage against the gritty nature of something, that's the complaint I heard about Titans. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, Batman said... I mean, uh, Nightwing said, fuck Batman or whatever. The fuck gives a shit? Again, you haven't seen the final product. Yeah. If the final product is ass, then by all means. Yeah, and that's the thing. I'm, I don't want to make it sound like I'm defending the show. I'm just saying that the show deserves a fair chance. Yeah. People are not giving it a fair chance because they're not getting what they want. Yeah. And that's a that's a big problem. And that's something we're already seeing with Joker. People crying that it's not Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger's dead. He's not coming back. They're not going to they're not going to just copy him because that would also be disrespectful. Joker is one of the characters that you can freaking play in one billion different ways and still be Joker. Yep. There is no freaking reason why people should be crying. And let's not forget again that that comics are one of the most mercurial forms of art ever. Retconning left and right, stories being revamped, multiverses, yeah. A trillion alternative versions. This is literally what comics were made for. To be played with. To be rearranged. To be restructured. It is basically and you're a, bitching about it? It is basically a framework for a creator to tell a story. Yeah. And you're not letting that happen in it's movies. It's got a basic structure that a multitude of different visions can play with. That's what mm. comics are. Yeah. And have been for fucking ever. So when someone tries to do that, like Zack Snyder with Batman versus Superman. And someone just craps on it for not being faithful... They are morons. Yeah, there is no faithful. There just isn't. Yeah, it's just a different iteration. All of them. 
Anyway, whatever. We've been ranting about comic-related movie news as of late. Tell us what you think about these subjects. Let us know. Are we fucking morons? You'll probably say so. Yeah. And we'd agree. But the point is, hit like, share, subscribe. Notifications, because we're out. Everything goes.